Hey, this is going to be a wild episode of Dax Booth for sure. And it's all about my Team Shelby Bash 2023 experience and the wild roller coaster ride that it was. The Shelby Bash event held over the last weekend in September was a four fun filled day event customized to fit what drives your passion. Thursday's check in at the hotel and a reception at Shelby American on Endsworth in Las Vegas. What a great place to meet other Shelby owners and Team Shelby members as well as event organizers and Shelby royalty was there as well. Look at some of the cars and team members the, that participated in the bash event. I selected a track day out in Crump at Spring Mountain with 30 other Shelby drivers followed by a dinner at International Speedway in Las Vegas. For Saturday, I selected the scavenger hunt team event, which my team won in 2021. The scavenger hunt is all about the teams meeting at different locations in and or around Las Vegas for fun-filled events, Shelby-related things that were supposed to take place in search for flags and other kinds of things uh, to gather points and see what team will win the scavenger hunt, followed by a casino night, which I optioned out of so I can spend some time with my nephew's family in Henderson Saturday night. Sunday was the car show at Shelby American and with a breakfast for all event attendees. This is where my personal experience begins. <laughs> Friday morning started with a drive from the hotel in Las Vegas to Spring Mountain Motorsports Ranch in Perum for an all-day track event with, <laughs> with a great should I say fantastic collection of about 30 plus Shelby's after the drivers meeting the cars hit the track in an open form and Doc's boost performed perfectly all day at the track it felt great I felt great the car felt great it was even better together on the track it was an amazing day it roared as it raced around that 2.6 mile track Left turns, right turns, carousels, straights. It was all super exciting and super fun. I was voted <laughs> the loudest Shelby on the site. <laughs> what a great day it was. Awesome is the only way to put it. I was happy to share the day with Jim, my brother-in-law. 50 years. Yeah, no shit. 50 years married to my sister? Oh my God. Okay, this is where the whole thing went south. On the way back to the hotel was about six miles to the South Point Hotel, the alternator, which was only two weeks old, quit on me. Systems started shutting down one at a time. The car was actually trying to save me and give me time to get off the freeway into a safe place. First, the AC shut down. Then it was the radio and nav system, and I'd never seen that go dark with the key on ever before i knew something was up and the next thing that, that, uh, the next was the electric assist power steering i barely made it off the highway and up and i mean up the ramp to safety before it died we got out and had to push it a short way out of traffic to a safe place to wait on a tow truck yeah this happened actually happened while at the shelby bash uh, the alternator quit. System started failing one at a time. Lost all power on the freeway. Just barely got it off the freeway on the way back from the track all day Friday. And uh, waited three hours for the tow truck to get me back to the hotel. And we'll figure it out from there. Yeah. <laughs> I know it sucks, but hey, an alternator is easily fixed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's about 9.30 at this time. And the tow truck loaded the car for the last few miles to South Point. Needless to say, I missed the reception dinner at the Speedway. What a bummer that was. And not only that, it was quite clear I was going to miss the scavenger hunt the next day. Instead, I had to get another tow truck in the morning to take the car from the hotel to Henderson where my nephew and his family lived. There, I could work on replacing the alternator. The truck was there in less than 30 minutes, and by 11.30 a.m., I was in Henderson and had the alternator in my hand, ready to go to the parts store. Once there, I found out that nobody in Las Vegas, anywhere even close to Las Vegas, had an alternator available for my car. 
I even asked the folks at Shelby American with no joy. I had to wait until the following Monday for one to be shipped from Phoenix, which is where I live. Now, you may note that I bought this thing from uh, O'Reilly's parts store in Phoenix, and so that's who I contacted for a warranty replacement alternator in O'Reilly's. So I went through O'Reilly's to get that new one. Well, that means that my car won't make it to the Sunday show or the breakfast. But actually, the way it worked out is we did go to the show. We did go to the breakfast, but without the car. And we shopped at the Heritage Center and admired all the Shelbys in the show. And it was quite a lineup. We really had a great time at the show talking with everybody and wandering around and shopping and things like that nature. Uh, but Monday came around and O'Reilly's on North Stephanie Street in Henderson did receive the alternator as promised and i had the car up and running by 11 a.m on monday and that was great everything went smooth as silk i shined it up i got it ready for the tuesday morning drive home to phoenix once tuesday came i decided to drive into henderson to pick up a few drinks for the cooler so peggy and i can have a very cool and easy drive home to phoenix as i was rolling down mark street near sunset station in henderson a young lady texting while driving pulled out in front of me and I slammed right in <laughs> the rear quarter of her passenger car and man I shredded her car but my car was <laughs> damaged as well and needless to say I was furious and ready to beat on someone anyone I was fit to be tied I wanted to strangle that driver lucky for her and me there were two squad cars waiting to enter Mark Street from a shopping center the driver was actually trying to reach and witness the whole thing well there was never a doubt about what and why regarding the disaster that just occurred after the officers calmed me down, I took some shots of the damage and it appeared that the car was still drivable. On the other hand, the other car had to be towed away. <laughs> when handed a clipboard and asked to write my version of what happened, I wrote, I simply wrote, some dumb bitch texting <laughs> while driving pulled out in front of me and never knew what hit her. I was asked to elaborate a little more by adding more detail. I think I added the second time around things like time of day and direction to travel and that sort of thing, uh, along, along, along with another angry slur about the young absent driver. And the car, the car drove home without issue. There was no structural damage at all, just outer body parts and such, no leaks of any kind. Cruise control was on 80 all the way home without any vibration or swaying or drifting or any front end movement at all. The girls insurance company footed the entire bill including all aftermarket parts without issue, all the carbon fiber stuff and the special decals and, and graphics that were all part of that part of the car that all got replaced or it's all getting in, it's in process let's say. I just got my car back this Friday and I still have graphics to go on. I still have other things that have to take place to finish it all off. But at least I got the car back in my hands. I still have to wait another couple of weeks before they can actually put the graphics back on the car. So the paint has time to cure on the body and especially on the plastic and fiberglass parts. Uh, so the paint doesn't get ripped off when they're trying to position stuff. I'll post some, sh some shorts about the finished car once done with everything. But... In the meantime, take a look at me on the track right down there in Pahrump before all of this happened. It was the greatest time ever on the track. I mean, I really had a great time. And I'll see you in that video in just a moment. And thanks for watching.